how to find the area of a shaded region, which happens to be a rectangle, when we have a circle in it that we don't want. Okay, so whenever we have any problem like this, we need to find the area of the larger shape, assuming that it is filled in, and then subtract the smaller area inside from it. And that will give us the area of the shaded region. Okay, so here's our general equation here. Then what we do is, I did length times width here because that is the equation of this larger area, which happens to be a rectangle. And then this one is pi r squared. This represents the equation for a circle because our smaller area is in fact a circle. Next, we substitute. Okay, we have 16 as the length of the rectangle, 10 as the width of the rectangle, and 4 is given as our radius. And I, you multiply, you get 160 here, and I have 3.14 times 16. I use 3.14 for pi. Most teachers will let you do that or encourage you to do that. Some teachers prefer you keep it in the pi form. Uh, make sure you know exactly what your teacher wants or prefers so you can get the highest grade possible and keep them happy. Alrighty. Then we simply subtract the areas after that and we get 109 and 76 hundredths. Now I had to round it to the nearest tenth here because up here I'm asked to do that round to the nearest tenth. Now this goes up to 8 because this digit to the right in the hundredths house is higher than a 5 so I make this one go up and this becomes an 8. Lastly, we need to write the units. And in this example, everything is in meters, so I write meters squared. Remember, you have to do squared because when you're finding areas, the units are always squared. And that completes our problem.